Bill Cosby is back in the spotlight today after more than a dozen women shared their stories of alleged drugging and, in many cases, sexual assault in a shocking new TV special on A&E. Bill Cosby was a titan. He had so much power. I was just this small town girl. I had just turned 20. I was 23 years old. I wasn't going to go up against Goliath. The kind of person I was dealing with would destroy me. He told me he'd better never ever see my face or hear my name again. From that day forward, I never said anything else. This is a template for the almost perfect crime. We're going to rectify it for him. At least 35 women have publicly accused Bill Cosby of sexual assault. Cosby has denied allegations in the past and has never been charged with a crime. Joining me now is one of the women who shared her story in that TV special, Charlotte Fox, and her attorney, Gloria Allred. Uh, Charlotte, first, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I know it took you years to go public with your story about Bill Cosby. I want you to tell us, if you can, what happened in 1974 when he invited you to the Playboy Mansion the night you say he sexually assaulted you. Um, thank you, Amin, um, for having me on. Um, in 1973, 74, I was in Uptown Saturday Night, uh, an actress, and there was a... Cosby did these after-hours kind of jam sessions, and one evening I was invited with some other folks to go to Concerts by the Sea in Redondo Beach, and I attended that, and then at the end of the night, he said, you know, we're going to go up to the Playboy Mansion. So everyone went to the Playboy Mansion. And I just remember being very ill, going to the bathroom, and after that, I didn't remember anything else. I woke up, and he was in the room. I was in the bed with no clothes, and Mr. Cosby had sex with me. It was not consensual. Gloria, uh, Bill Cosby set to testify on October 9th in another sexual assault case against uh, Cosby, which you are involved in. Uh, when Cosby testified under oath in 2005 and 2006, he acknowledged giving drugs to women he wanted to have sex with. What do we expect from this upcoming testimony? Yes, you're right, Eamon. He is going to testify in the lawsuit in which I represent Judy Huth, who alleges that she was 15 years old when Mr. Cosby uh, inflicted an act of sexual misconduct on her at the Playboy Mansion. What we can expect at this deposition is that he will testify under oath in this lawsuit, uh, that, and we hope that he'll view it as an opportunity to give his side of the story, to testify fully and completely and uh, to answer the questions, of course, uh, it's, he is the one who's going to have to answer the questions, uh, not Dr. Huxtable. And he's the one that uh, is going to answer them, not uh, you know, his lawyers, not uh, any apologists of his, uh, not his supporters. So it, it's, it's something that we're going to do to help to prepare for trial in this case. And then his side will have an opportunity to take the deposition of our client on October 15th. And, and Charlotte, uh, Beverly Johnson, who accused Cosby of drugging her, says her message to Cosby is, I forgive you. What is your message to Bill Cosby? Well, you know, power is not given, it's taken, right? And so I've taken my power back, but all power belongs to God. So it's in God's hands. I mean, you wait, you have this opportunity, you say something because you hope you can save somebody else's life. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to say there are women out there, there are men out there that have been raped. And we hope that the rape culture, you know, understands that this, this cannot happen. It, it, we, we, don't, we won't stand for it. Why did you decide to go public with this? Well, I went to church one Sunday praying about it, trying to figure out what to do, you know, what should I say something. I mean, this is major. I don't take this lightly. Uh, it affects my family. Of God knows it's affected his family. And I prayed about it. I asked my pastor, and he said, you have to do what is right. You have to stand up. And she's don't been be very courageous, amen. And I want to say, too, right. that we're looking for justice. We're looking for accountability. And that's what yeah, we Yeah, what does justice look like, Gloria, in a case where so many, uh, if the statute of limitations have expired, what do you see justice looking like for these women? Well, for those where it is too late, we're working to change the statute of limitations, yes. to lengthen it or eliminate it.